when I was a kid, my dad got a Commodore 64 because he got interested in computer programming. He would make these little programs to test me on spelling words. That was some of my earliest memories with the computer. She grew up in uh, relatively rural Virginia outside of uh, the Richmond area. Growing up, I was always really interested in the stars and in the universe, and I thought I wanted to be an astronaut. At some point, reality hit that I get really motion sick, so that kind of dashed those dreams. Mariah was very interested in a marching band and then in drum corps. I was a die-hard Penn Stater. I was in the marching band. I was really looking for that big American university experience as an undergrad. Mariah started out her academic career being interested in science and physics and astronomy. After receiving her bachelor's degree, she went off and worked for an engineering company. She worked for Raytheon. She then took some computer science classes at Harvard Extension. And then decided she wanted to learn more. So that prompted me to go to grad school, which is how I ended up at the U. Being an East Coaster my whole life, I was really excited to get to live in a beautiful mountainous environment. She ended up working with uh, Professor Ross Whitaker, doing a dissertation that involved a combination of scientific computing. It was uh, geometric modeling along with visualization for science. As a graduate student, it was really wonderful to get to come to a place that embraced the idea of applying computing to other fields. When she graduated, she then did a postdoc with Hans Peter Pfister, who's at Harvard University. So I spent three years there, forming a bunch of relationships and collaborations with folks at Harvard, at MIT, and at the Harvard Medical School. And that's where she got interested and intrigued with the information visualization, which is much more about the data visualization. The job market it was a, a relatively long process. I mean, there, she had numerous offers. She had offers at University of Chicago and at Edinburgh University in the UK and many others. So we had our work cut out for us and to get and to recruit her back to the University of Utah. The work that I'm doing now is really around the idea of designing interactive visualizations to help scientists and other scholars and data analysts make sense of the data that they have. It's mostly beyond me, frankly. Most universities still don't even have a single person who does data visualization, and here we now arguably have six faculty who do. She's become very popular as a collaborator, and she has a line outside her door of people who want to work with her because she can create really customized visualization tools that will help solve important problems. I feel like sometimes I have a bit of an attention problem, like I'm always like, oh, there's this new shiny thing over here, um, and the kind of work I do is perfect for that because I'm always meeting new people who have data and are struggling to make sense of it. Mariah is also an amazing presenter of her work. The power of visualization comes from harnessing our perceptual system in order to free up our cognition for higher level tasks. She has given a uh, TED presentation and uh, we continually learn from her about how to better present our work. She received the School of Computing Best Teacher Award last year. She's a pleasure to work with. She's a fantastic collaborator. I feel so privileged that I get to do what I do every day. It is absolutely amazing. Mariah Meyer is one of the best researchers in the world in the field of information visualization. She's an activist in trying to help young women in computer science. When she was on the way of being a mother, she came and talked with me about uh, wanting to have a mother's room at the Ski Institute. We didn't know what that meant, but she did. <laughs> and uh, So we now have a mother's room at the Ski Institute. When I first came out here as a graduate student, I was you know, really into rock climbing. That was sort of my passion. Now I have a toddler, and so uh, my husband and I just really love to get him out as much as we can. We take him hiking. Um, we're going to start him on skiing. My husband is an attorney for the university, and my son is in preschool at BioKids, which is a fantastic child care program run through the biology department. So we all commute to campus together every morning. I think the work I'm doing matters. Um, I think it is impacting the world, um, and I'm learning from it. 
the top scientists and engineers in the country who are under 35. They call it the TR35, and she was chosen as one of those under 35, the first ever at the University of Utah. I am just so lucky that I found computer science because it's the kind of field that no matter what your interest is, there's a computing problem there.